980 CJME Morning Show with Sam McKegg, Andrew Dawson, and Woodsy on Sports. 751 on a Tuesday morning after unimaginable tragedy. In some cases, people don't know what to say. They want to offer help, but they don't know how. Melanie DeLorme lost her eight-year-old son in a hunting accident and then wrote the book called After the Flowers Die, a handbook of heartache, hope, and healing after losing a child. And this week, she also published a post on her website called 10 Ways to Support a Grieving Parent. Melanie joined us on the line from Assiniboia this morning. Good morning. Good morning. First off, I have to offer condolences on the loss of your son and thank you for turning it into something that helps other people. Thank you very much. So when you wrote this post, I imagine that you had Humboldt in mind. Honestly, I had been writing this post for the last week and I didn't have Humboldt in mind until I finished it up. <laughs> so give us some of these ways that you can help support a grieving parent or a grieving family member for that matter. Mm -hmm. Grieving parents are special people because they have an outpouring of love and prayers on the internet, and in particular in the Humboldt case, the whole country is empathetic. And the gesture of the hockey sticks on the porch is, is a, an amazing gesture of empathy. But once, you know, once those parents go home and are forced to set that table with one less plate, um, they need people in their lives that will help them, who are willing to come over and visit, phone them, and just be there. Well, and that's an important point, Melanie, is because it's it's not just today that we need to have that love and empathy. It's weeks, months, and years going forward to continue to try to support these people. Absolutely. Now, I, so you've got go visit, phone them, give food, go shopping. I thought that was so insightful. Um, it, it's, it's odd that after a tragedy, um, simple tasks like going shopping and facing the public is really exhausting and challenging for people. And I know that anybody would appreciate someone picking up their groceries for them. Um, other things on the list, uh, clean something, do errands, find resources, send pictures. I wondered about this one myself. I wondered, is that gonna cause more pain? Uh, I don't think there is any more pain to cause. Um, parents are not going to forget that their child died and give, sending a new picture of their child is going to make them smile and is not going to cause them any hurt, any more hurt than they're already feeling. I know people, Garrett died 10 years ago and when I can find a new picture that I haven't seen before of him, it is a precious gift. Now I know that uh, your book is an option for parents but you also have a few other suggestions uh, of some reading that actually is helpful as well. There are tons of books written about grief, and um, there are two. There are two. Oh, there were only two that I found that I found really very helpful when Garrett died, and I, they are both posted on there. A Gre Healing a Grieving Parent's Heart by Anne Wolfout was an amazing, amazing book. It was very practical about things that parents can actually do and and feel like they're doing. And one example was create create a quilt out of your child's clothing. And that is what I that is what I did with with my son's clothes. Melanie, thank you so much for uh, sharing your story and sharing these uh, great tips on how to support a grieving parent. We appreciate your time today. Thank you so much for caring about this topic. That's Melanie Delorme, uh, and as Sam pointed out off the top, she lost her eight-year-old son in a hunting accident about 10 years ago and wrote a book called After the Flowers Die, a handbook of heartache, hope, and healing after losing a child. I'll share the post that you wrote on our Facebook page. You can share it with your friends, and hopefully uh, you find some use in it. CJME News Time 755, now Paul Martin on Business.